Well, thank you so much for just taking the time to talk to us today because absolutely I know you are a busy man I mean you uh, got <laughs> let's be real you just released a new book yes. Dangerous Jesus you yes. have an album that's dropping this week glory to glory yes You're starting yeah. on your summer worship night story <laughs> all yeah, this yeah. week a couple things yep yeah a couple things a little something it's How are you good. feeling just in general about all of these things happening at one time and just getting it in and going out there? Oh, uh, I feel good, man. I feel I feel really good. I, I think that um the Lord by uh by his grace has given me a a a solid team. Um mm -hmm. and uh and we've got some good tools to stay rested, uh mm -hmm. to stay focused. Um and uh and those things are at work and I think they're in a lot of ways keeping me. Oops. Um, through the, uh, the the chaotic season, and I know that it won't always be like this. I'm, you know, I'm pushing right. through uh, Amen. for Amen. a few weeks, and then it'll it'll slow back down, and then and it'll be back to changing diapers and uh, yeah. taking out the trash again. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Nothing, nothing like it. That's that, you know, that's one of the many hats that you wear because you're not yep. just an artist and a speaker and a podcaster and now an author, but you know, you are a son, you are a husband, you are a that's father. Right. You yeah. know, so how are you handling that now? I mean, I know you say, okay, after all that, you're going back to the diapers and taking the trash out, but you know, right. in between, right. how is that support and how do you juggle all of that, especially with so many things happening at one time? Yeah, I think it's just priorities. Um, you know, I, 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 it is not more important. There's nothing more important for me mm -hmm. uh, than, than to lean into the fact that I'm a father at all times. So I, I'm Amen. a father when I'm rapping. I'm a father when I'm Amen. podcasting, authoring. I, I bring that identity with me and I do the, Amen. I try to do the kind of things uh, that I want my sons to, and my daughter to be influenced by. And uh, okay. same thing as a son. I want my mom to be honored by what she sees and what I'm doing. And uh, and then as a husband, uh, the ways in which I carry myself, organize my team, yeah. uh, I want to do all those things in a way that says I'm a husband. Yeah. And um, so I, those are my those are my priority identities. And I have other identities that intersect with what I do, mm -hmm. um, but there, I give preference to those those things. So um, I leave out to be the rapper, author, podcaster, but I come back home. Home is these other identities, you know, father, yes. son, husband, friend. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now with that, I want to know, you know, tell us when was the moment that you knew, cause you know, we always know when something is coming, when God is calling us to do something, but I'm not yeah. asking for that moment. I'm okay. asking when was the moment that you decide to be obedient and doing what he has called you to do? Well, it, I, that's a great question. Um, I think for me, it, it I kind of just rolled into it. Um, okay. I was, you know, somebody gave me a Christian hip hop CD. It led me to Jesus. I started mm -hmm. dabbling. Never thought about making music ever before that. But I started dabbling, trying to make some Christian hip hop myself and for myself that I can listen to. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I started to you know, share it with other folks. And it, it became an opportunity to share the gospel with people. It was a uh, you, you could if you could put the gospel in rap, uh, you could yeah. evangelize a lot easier. Uh huh. And uh, mm -hmm. as I started to do that, there was that God showed me that it was fruitful. Yeah. And uh, now I was a part of that fruitfulness was the demand for more of it. Yes. Um, and then I started to sharpen it. I started to sharpen it and and, uh, and to you know until it kind of turned into uh, a record deal down the line. Um, with lots of contributions from a lot of people right. um, to getting me where I am. But yeah, it, it, it's, it just kind of like I, God just kept affirming it in the beginning and then mm -hmm. it, I couldn't stop doing it. Amen. Uh, amen. And, and uh, then it turned into, you know, something else. Man, amen to that. Well, I'll tell you what, I know I can speak for all of us <laughs> when we say that we are thankful that you chose to be obedient because there's, you know, there's the format that we have now with Christian hip hop and it's, not just needed it's desperately needed you know wow. it's continuing to grow now because wow. our youth hello there's so many yeah. options that they can listen to right now yes yes so how yes, you yes. said that you know that you can go in there and start speaking those truths that are able to hear it because you can hear it but not really feel it or recognize it and right. with you what i like to know is with this um let's go over here to your, your album right glory to glory 
Right. First of all, the single off of their glory to glory is fire. <laughs> I love the Thank way it so much. starts. I mean, the way it builds up. And then you kind of add like this little mix of old school hip hop that comes back into today. Yeah, at the end. Yeah. I'm like, oh my, it's just, I was like, Ooh, what is he doing on so many levels? But this album, what makes this one so different? Not just different, but how, like, how deep did you dig to create it? Yes. Wow, great question. Um, and thank you for the compliment on Glory to Glory. Yes. I um uh yeah, so this album, in my humble opinion, mm -hmm. is the best rapping that I've I've ever done because okay. I think I'm a better I'm a better rapper. So okay. just from a technical skill standpoint, Amen. I think that I'm 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 better at rapping today than I was uh well I haven't written a verse in like two months so maybe i'm right, not as right. good right now but <laughs> uh but I, I think that i'm i'm better at communicating and but i'm also um i've been through some stuff you know Amen. and uh and 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 we've done a lot of soul work mm -hmm. uh that this album has been an opportunity for me to be very vulnerable and open with challenges and yes. and and where my hope is challenged um, yeah. where my where my limitations are 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 you know causing certain reactions in my soul mm -hmm. so I think that people are going to in this album learn that, that it's not just learning more about who I am but I think that I'm, I'm kind of showing some of my wounds and hoping that you would be able to be healed from yours like you said mm -hmm. lyrically just the way that you go in there and touch and are able to be vulnerable with this album. Yes. That speaks so much to the youth who are afraid to even acknowledge a lot of those things that you speak on. Mm -hmm. Yes, well said, well said. Yes, and I'm hoping uh, that the Lord would continue to give us more opportunities to do that Amen. more and Amen. more, for Amen. sure. Now this book, cause I'm gonna go, we were gonna go, go back to the book now because I okay. saw that your book, Dangerous Jesus, yep. is kind of like the soundtrack to your album. So like, it's like a it's okay. like how do you compare that in one cuz I don't want you to give away what's on the book everything on there but sure, if you sure, were sure. to let us know you know we're going to read the book and also simultaneously listening to the album what are we going to yeah. see Well I think that the the album um is kind of like the soundtrack to the book so I would say that the book is like a There you go um it's like a, a Christianity 101, um, okay. where I'm thinking about like a, a modern day, you know, far be it for me to compare this to this, but uh, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I, I'll tell you what I was aiming for. So okay. like, I think about C.S. Lewis's Mere Christianity, where it's like, mm -hmm. here is what this thing really, this is the basic, uh, just straightforward Christian faith. Let's get all of the, all of the, the hoopla and the frills and the, the nonsense uh, so I wanted to to function like that that you can give this book to somebody that that is just getting to know the Lord or uh, okay. somebody who uh, has been with the Lord for a long time but they've kind of lost their way they need help going back their first getting back their first love I Amen. wanted to serve like that you can give it to people with that Amen. in mind but the book itself is doing what I'm always doing in my music where I'm like you know this is who Jesus is this is who Jesus is not. Mm -hmm. um, amen, amen. And, uh, and I'm doing it in a in a way that really considers it where we are nationally with where we of how Christianity is being represented on the big stages and how Christianity has been misrepresented. Yes. Um, and uh, and I'm I'm walking through the book book in different areas. How is Christianity being misrepresented in how you talk? How's Christianity been mis misrepresented in how we enjoy or our lives or, or practice mm. sacrifice? How does Christianity reflect it, been misrepresented in how we understand the gospel, how we understand justice, yeah. how we understand, you know, um, you know, serving our neighbor. I'm every chapter, and it's, it's, it's like this is a this a this a book. It's not super long, but it's a book. Right, book. but it's you know a book. It's a book. <laughs> it's a book book. Uh, but every chapter is is trying to discern between the Christianity of Christ and the Christianity of this land. And 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 then challenging us as a as a people to get back to the Christianity of Christ. Amen. I love it. Back to our first love. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Now you were recently on Good Morning America. Oh my goodness, KB. <laughs> 
What is up with that? How did you uh, feel, like, seriously, when you got just the call from Manja, wherever you got it from, yes. and you said, hey, you know what? Mainstream is looking for you. Main, we yeah. really want to see what you, what you can provide to them. So now you're out here on this big platform, because, you know, we have a CHA, you know, Christian and music platform and things like that, but right, we're talking right. Good Morning America. Wow, wow, so wow, So wow. how did you feel, like... Like, be real. How did you feel before you were going on there knowing that yeah. you're talking to not just, you know, fellow believers and Christians and stuff. I mean, you're talking yeah. to people who might have changed the channel as soon as they heard that that's what was they're getting like, ready ah, to on. You yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> but they tuned in yeah. and stayed on because of what you were saying. So how, how was that? Man, uh, it was God's favor. I, I, okay. I, when we got the call about, we got the call months ago about doing it. Oh wow! Um, I, I think it was like right after my book came out, we got the call about uh, we, my publishers pitched it to GMA and they were like, "Let's do it," and, um, and so I, I was super excited about it. I was like, "Man, this is my I've never done any any kind of national TV before, uh, so this is my first. This is my debut." Oh and, my um, God! So, yes, man, the Lord is kind. And then it, 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 we couldn't have written it out. My my album comes out the next Friday. Yeah. And DMA wanted to promote it. So we, we, were, we were like, the Lord is doing something here. So that was cool. And, uh, and I, you know, I was nervous, definitely. I mean, I slept good the night before. Right. Uh, walking to the studios. Okay. Uh, I, was, I felt some nerves there. Okay. Uh, but, you know, I had, I had my team with me. You know, my best friend was with me. My mom, my my mom and my wife were back at home praying for me, and Amen. Um, Amen. and we, you know, we we just tried to go out there in the confidence of the Lord and yes. and be there to serve. Remember that we're talking to a lot of people that don't know Jesus at all. Yes, yes. What kinds of things do I do I want to say? Um, so I I I wanted to be clear, I wanted to be succinct, uh, but also I, I needed to be terse because it, this ain't long yes. for it, no podcast. Mm -mm, so mm -mm. Uh, yeah, no. They, the folks at GMA were just just very very kind um, and, and very very hospitable, and uh, so it was it was just a favor filled experience, um, and uh, I'm just grateful that I got to do it. Amen, amen. Now you didn't mention podcasting. Um, and I guess he was a Southside rabbi. Did I say it right? Yes. Is that the right yes, one? Southside yeah. rabbi. Yep. Yes. I've had the opportunity to check a few of those out. And I remember the first time I said, I said, he's on a podcast now? What is going on? I'm like, he's just go, 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 go. Where can those of us who have not heard it, where can we find your podcast besides going on IG and looking at some of the reels that come on? Clips. Yeah. <laughs> So we're uh, wherever you listen to your podcast. So if you, you know, Apple Podcasts or Spotify Podcasts uh, okay. or in any other platform, Southside, just, just Google or search Southside Rabbi and we should come up. Um, we're like four or five seasons in, okay, starting up okay. our new season once I get off tour. Mm -hmm. And um, and we, we love it. We, we love discipling people from a distance and supporting the local Amen. church. Amen. And uh, yeah, you can you can check us out there for sure. Yes, and I encourage you definitely check them out because it's like you know talking to a whole bunch of buddies, friends, all in the same room. You know, being spoken yep. with and not to. So yep. it's that's that's real good. Now, your tour. Oh my goodness, KB, you're about to kick off your summer worship nights tour, and you are <laughs> kicking it off in your hometown of Tampa. So yeah. I mean, what a blessing! But how did this even come about? And did you? purposely time all of this together like no <laughs> no i mean i'm on i'm on brandon lake and phil wickham's tour i'm a guest i'm 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 supporting them so funny. uh yeah it's it's wild uh how everything kind of from the gma and yes. uh in these other opportunities we did a a, a a listening event with all of the major um music distributors so like yes. apple and, and spotify Amen. and you know pandora we did a listening event for them at a museum in nashville and and just oh. the way we were able to it's the lord just is uh it's been karotic like he's just been able to Amen. Amen. to just align things and in, in these sort of spiritual you know intentions of right. the, of our good god merge with the the things that we are trying to do and uh, make these, yeah. So it's you know we'll see what the Lord. Hey, I'm I'm just here. I'm just riding along. Amen. Man. We'll see what right. happens. <laughs> I got no expectation. I, I I'm just 
I'm riding along, you know? Oh my goodness, I love it, I love it. Well, I know you are a busy man, so we're gonna wrap it up here. But I got three questions for you, okay? Three quick ones. Okay. Three quick okay. ones, okay? Okay. So first, well, first of all, we got to know how do you connect. So you told us about podcasts. And we can look you up at Southside Rabbi. But your socials. Yes. Your so handles. Insta Instagram is like the main place where I'm on social media, but I'm on okay. other folks, other things too. Uh, but it's KB underscore HGA. Um, that's for his glory alone. And uh, or you can go to whoiskb.com. Amen. Amen. Now you just you sneaking in on my next question for HGA. So you have a clothing line. Mm hmm. Yeah. How did that come about, sir? Um, so by God's grace, uh, you know, it was a, a vision of mine probably about seven years ago. Okay. Um, it's a long story about how that kind of came to be. Uh, and then the Lord sent me the right people, um, Amen. sent me the right people to partner with. Uh, to, to just piece by piece by piece, running at our own speed, uh, we just continue to build this operation. Yeah, um, that in a amen. lot of ways is 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 running um, without my direct kind of you know guiding it. Right, it's, right. God has just sent us really good people, and we've put together a solid team that is just kind of caring, helping us develop and do more and, yes. and push the limits and be a real player in, in Christian fashion. So no, seriously, because we need <laughs> <Excuse it. me. laughs> amen. No, amen. I love that. Well, I've got some, a special announcement <laughs> after the show here that, um, I'll be letting my listeners know, but you know, we had to, we had to tell them a little bit about the, <laughs> about the clothing line first. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Amen. Now this one's a good one. This is just cause I'm nosy. <laughs> just, I'm kidding. <laughs> what is your favorite comfort food? Like your comfort all food? your comfort food, yes. Oh man, hands down, crabs. Crabs, uh, okay. <laughs> but I can't. I haven't eaten them in two months because my blood pressure was getting crazy. Oh no! So, uh, so I've been on a low salt diet for a few months now. Uh, okay, but okay. I'm thinking about because we wanted to do something to celebrate the um, our day our debut. At least my my therapist was saying that I, I should celebrate it. So. Yeah, uh, yes. I think I may break my two month fast with, with, a, with a little bit of sodium chloride yes. in my oh, crab God. and my garlic sauce. You know, what I I'm know. Saying? Oh, it's, oh, see, it's not right if you don't have the garlic <laughs> sauce to dip it in now. I tell you that it's a lot of work, though. Make sure you get the wipes and everything around because hey, I've I'm, 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 I'm been doing it for I'm, I'm better at opening crabs than I am at anything else. So wow. it's, 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 it's no difference to me, man. This there's, there's no work, it's no problem. <laughs> Hey man, I love it. I love it. All right, my last question for you. Okay. Who is on KB's playlist right now? Okay. Give me your top um, two. So definitely CC Winans, um, worthy of it all. Ooh. Number one. Uh huh. Yeah, that, that's yeah, number that one, one right there. Speaks. Yes, amen. amen. And I, I, I found this new artist that's from the U UK. His name is Tom. I don't really know how to say his last name. I'm listening to his stuff okay. heavy. Um, he has an EP called Time Will Fly. Uh, he goes by, uh, oh, excuse me. His last name is Tompkins. His first name is Sam. Sam Tompkins. Sam I Tompkins. think I'm saying his okay. name right. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, but he's got this song called Time Will Fly. Um, that is just man. It's just it's it's a it's not a Christian song, right, uh, right. but it, it's just I listen to it on repeat often, and it's just a Amen. good soulful um, song about you know him you know protecting his younger self. So yes. those are my those at the top of my list right now. Amen, amen, amen. All right. Well, KB, thank you so much for just taking the time. I know you're a busy man. You got so much going on, but we appreciate you just taking a few moments out of your day just to let us know what you're up to, this album, the book, the tour. Yeah. So many things. We're going to be praying for you, brother. Um, God has surely anointed you, and uh, we just mm. can't wait to see what else is out there for you. Thank you so much. I appreciate amen. you. Thank you for having amen. me.